Welcome to Everyday Linux User. One of the things I've always liked about Fedora and Nabara is how easy it is to install virtualization software. Now I'm using the KDE desktop and the best tools to use for virtualization are KVM, QMU, libvirt and vert manager. Now that's a lot to remember, but with Fedora and Nabara, you can install all these software packages by running one single terminal command. If I right click and do open terminal, and then I make the screen slightly bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And all you have to do, sudo dnf install virtualization. Like that. Type in your password. Press yes to install the packages and let them install. This will take a few minutes. And that's it complete. So now all you have to do is go into Vert Manager. I'm going to click the plus. We're going to get forward, browse, and then we're going to find an ISO image. So I'm going to choose Fedora here. And you can see it's automatically selected it. Click forward, then I can give it as much RAM as I need. You can give it disk space, click forward, click finish. And here is your virtual machine. So here we are in the virtual machine and I can install Fedora if I so wish. I'm just going to quickly go through this bit because I plan on doing a full guide on the Fedora installer. And after a short while, you end up with this and you can exit back to the live desktop. And now I should be able to reboot my computer. Pick your language, pick your keyboard layout, choose whether you want location services on or off, choose your location, click next, enable third party repositories, Click next and create a user. Create a password. And you're all done. Now I recommend rebooting again. So here are at the login screen, I can log in. And that's how you create a virtual machine using Nabara or Fedora. And I've shown you how to set up uh, Fedora as the guest operating system, but it could be any operating system of your choice. Now, before we go, I do want to show you one more thing, and that's how to add your user to the user group in case you have permissions issues. So if you encounter permission issues whilst using Vert Manager, and one of the things you'll have to do is type in this command here. And what this command does is give you permissions to the libvirt D group. But that is the end of the video. If you like it, give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.